right, so we were gonna take the bike to the studio. There's an office that no one ever uses. Um, we were gonna hide the bike in there. Craig is at the studio. So we're gonna stick it at my house and hide it there and then start figuring out how to weave our elaborate scheme of giving Craig this motorcycle. All right, so it's 9.30. Craig just left the shop. We just got done editing a video. But yesterday, Greg was here. He was calling the Yamaha dealerships up, trying to trade his bike in. I saw three in the entire country, and we bought one of them. So he, you could tell he was kind of bummed out. He was, he was just kind of discouraged. He wants to get rid of his bike and wants to get this new one. Now, here's where stuff gets a little bit tricky. Here's kind of the plan of what we're going to do. Now, Craig was supposed to be hanging out with his buddies tonight. He normally hangs out with his buddies and they wrench on bikes at his garage at, at his house. I made a phone call to those guys, and I was like, can, I told him what was going on. I'm like, can you guys not hang out with Craig? I want Craig to go to bed as soon as we possibly can. We don't want to be staying up till like two o'clock, because sometimes he goes to bed really late. So we talked to his wife, and we're like, how do we make Craig go to sleep early? So we just went up, we don't sleep very late. And what she said was that, well, Craig will go to bed early if we, um, if we have a, or an, or a, an early shoot tomorrow. So I'm like, all right. I made up some thing. I'm like, Craig, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get the side by sides out. We gotta leave super early tomorrow. Um, so hopefully he goes to bed early. His wife's gonna let us know when he goes to bed. We're gonna go get, grab the stuff. We have to grab the bike, grab some Christmas lights, grab the fog machine, grab the stereo, and we're gonna go sneak into his garage when he goes to sleep. We're gonna set everything up and then tell his wife that someone broke into the garage or some crazy noise. She's hearing some weird noises from the garage. He's probably gonna come out. We will be hiding. But I think once he sees like the Christmas lights, I'm assuming that he will, he will, you know, bring his guard down. Let's go do it. Let's do it. Yo, Craig's on his way home. Okay. We're working on Are a late. Tired? Yeah, we, 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 we tired him up. Give him a, give him a nice glass of like warm milk. Uh, can you leave the keys to the garage? The keys will be under that. You think Craig suspects anything? No, I don't. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, and then what's the plan? We're gonna get everything ready over here. We're gonna be hanging around somewhere in your area. You're gonna let us know when he's sleeping. We're gonna sneak into the garage, bring the bike in there, set up the Christmas lights, turn on the fog machine, and then we're gonna tell you, we're gonna call, I'm gonna text you and be like, we're done, we're gonna hide. And then you're gonna send Craig out. You're gonna tell Craig like you, you saw some weird noise. You, you you saw something at the garage. Okay. Okay. Bye. So here's what, here's what's happening. We're hiding out about a block away from Craig's house, waiting for the text. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. Craig, go to sleep, man. Um, waiting for his wife to shoot us a text. She just sent us a text. She said he's still up. <laughs> She's gonna tell us when he's sleeping. But as right now he's still up. We got all the stuff. We're ready. We might we might be here for a while. All right, so it's almost one o'clock. Craig's wife just told us he just went to sleep. And he's supposed to be at work at like six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and he, he lives like 45 minutes away. Let's go do it. So now might be a great time to fill you guys in on the origins of Craig and how he came to work for SRK Cycles. Because it has a lot to do with why we're giving him this new dirt bike. I met Craig from a mutual acquaintance, and soon he started working on our bikes and participating in some of our videos. This was his first video appearance right here. And this is the moment that I knew that I liked Craig. Craig's gonna hit that jump. But a few weeks later, I got a call from his wife who said that Craig was in a dirt bike accident with his KTM and was in pretty bad shape. He was literally found in a ditch. This is my grandma's worst nightmare to end up in a ditch. Craig had multiple broken ribs, exploded collarbone, and was bleeding in all the wrong places like the inside and not the outside. I even think I recall the doctor saying to Craig that he would never know the love of a woman ever again. We later found out that that wasn't the doctor, it was the janitor. <laughs> all this pain and suffering gave me the great opportunity to bring Craig on staff full time while he recovered. If you're wondering, Craig made a full recovery because motorcycles are safe.
uh, just something, something Craig told me a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. He's like he that he loves he loves Christmas lights. He used to have Christmas lights set up in his, uh, his dorm room all year round. It's just I don't know. He's all about it. I'm pumped. But look how cool! Look how cool this is all looking. I say we light the bike up. You want to light it up? Maybe we light it up. I'm so pumped and I'm really excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Craig's gonna be. I don't know how Craig's gonna react. Dude, I haven't even started wrapping the bike yet. <laughs> it's so magical. <laughs> All right, guys, we just broke into Craig's garage. We're hanging lights, we're decorating it. We just bought Craig a brand new dirt bike. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, let me get the tape. Yeah, this might be a two man operation to wrap this. <laughs> Getting a little concerned about this fog machine. Well, let's um. You don't want to like try to individually like wrap the rims and stuff. This this must be how Jesus felt when he was leaving toys for all the boys and girls. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> guess that's why this thing was open box. Maybe it doesn't freaking work. Oh, the green light's on. That was fast. He's coming. Yes? Yeah, yeah, she said he's coming. in there, Craig. Wow. <laughs> it's a dirt bike. <laughs> you guys are insane. <laughs> there was three of these for sale in the country. We got one of them. Seriously? Got it for you, buddy. I was like, seriously, a little scared to open the door at first. When did you get here? 12 before midnight. We were texting your wife trying to wake, try to get you to go to sleep. I'm like, yo, give him some warm milk. Yeah. <laughs> well, fire it up. Take it for a rip. Is that what we do at 2 a.m.? Oh, Shocker. And Shocker, we're like, don't hang out with him. Ah. We tried to get you to go to sleep early, and then you were staying up all late. <laughs> we were sitting outside for like an hour and a half. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a Yamaha. <laughs> ah. Merry Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe.